Today, Kevin and I are going to do a taste test. I'm going to do be blind. I'm not going to, I'm not gonna be blindfolded, but I- But you won't know which one I I won't know which one is which. We're gonna do a taste test between the Nestle Coffee Mate Coffee Creamer and- The Walmart or Great Value uh, Original Coffee Creamer. Yeah, we, um, I showed these uh, during a grocery haul. Uh, what I did was uh, we were looking for new creamer and uh, we normally buy the Nestle Coffee Mate and this is the size that we buy but we noticed when we were at Walmart they now have great value coffee creamer or maybe they They've have had it for a while, a while. and yeah, we just haven't noticed it. Yeah. And I think they even have a bigger container that was still cheaper. <laughs> yeah, they have a huge container of their version and uh, so uh, we said, well, let's buy the, the smallest container we can and we'll try it and see if we like it. Yeah. And if we like it just as much, we'll buy the great value from now on because it's literally like a dollar cheaper at least to get the yeah. great value. So why not buy the cheaper if you can? So we're gonna be trying it this morning with uh, Folgers Morning Cafe Coffee. This is a mild uh, brew coffee. And yeah, I don't wanna get it too strong. And Kevin is going to be showing you which creamer he is. Let's let me say the calories yeah, first. Which creamer he's up. putting in which coffee? Um, and I'm not gonna look, so I won't have a clue because I do want to try it blind. Um, it's one. It's a one a tablespoon is ten calories. Same. One, table, one teaspoon. Sorry, teaspoon. One. That is a teaspoon. It's a tisp. <laughs> tisp. It's a tisp. tisp. Uh, one teaspoon is 10 calories. Uh, so, okay, I'm going to turn my back. And I will let you see the cup that I'm going to do it in. So, this cup is going to have that one. And she won't know what order I did them in or anything. Yeah. No, I won't know a thing. But I'm thinking if we can save a dollar, because we buy creamer all the time. Yeah. So if we can save some money on creamer, that's fine with me. Because it, like we did the bond taste test of mayonnaise, and you like you and Andrew, I think both like the great value mayonnaise. That I still buy the great value mayonnaise. Yeah, you like that better than what is it, Kraft? Yeah. Um, so you know, hopefully this will be the same, and we can. Uh, Save some money. Trying to get about equal amounts of. Now, have you had this Folgers or did you have different Folgers? I've never had, I've had this Folgers since we bought it because I opened it and tried it. Oh, okay, okay. Um, it's a very good coffee. It's just like a regular coffee that you grew up on coffee. Okay. Because okay. you know, I always drank uh, Maxwell House. Um, this is very similar to that. But we haven't bought okay. Maxwell House for the Keurig yet. Are you ready? Um, no, we've never tried Maxwell House. No, we've seen it for the Keurig, but we haven't tried it for the Keurig. Yeah, okay. so okay. we can try your scarf since it's on your side. Okay. Hopefully I can drink it. Is it not too hot? Mm -hmm. I'm so used to flavored coffee now that that's just, I don't know. It's just not as enjoyable. Okay. Well, I have an opinion. I wonder if we agree. Do you think they're the same? I'm having to drink again because they taste so similar. I like that one better. They taste very, very, they're very close. similar. They're close. But I like that whatever's in this one better. Um, I'm not gonna tell you yet. Okay. Just see if you agree with me. Maybe you don't. Maybe okay. this is just what I'm gonna get because I drink regular coffee all the time. Okay. This one still retains some of its dark, the bitterness of the coffee. Of the coffee. Yes. Whereas this one's more creamy and creamy. Yes. This Do one. That's that? exactly what I was thinking. Is this one? You you taste too much of the bitter it's coffee. Still a little bit of the bitterness. And that though. one is creamy. Yeah. Which one is that one? Is it really? Oh my gosh! 
So it's worth spending the money on the coffee. I, yeah, for me, yeah, yeah, definitely. Because to use this, I You'd would have, have to, to add more. a little. I would have to add more, a little bit more, to yeah. make it uh, as good as the as the Nestle. Yeah, I agree. Because even that, I could I could definitely taste still a little bit of bitterness with the Great Value one, which I don't mind. I like the coffee. I like that flavor, so it's not that big a deal. But I like the creaminess of this one a lot better. Right. And I tried to use the equal amounts of scoop, and if it's a little off, like I didn't measure it out. Um, if it's a little odd, I don't think it would have made that much difference. There's quite a bit of difference between it, the, the bit bitterness. I levels. think so. I think there's a. I mean, it's almost like you're drinking a different coffee, a yeah. different uh, level of brew. Yeah. It, the flavors really, are about the same. It still has that that creamy, like almost not really vanilla, but it still has that flavor. Right. But a little bit more of the bitterness comes out from the one and the other one. So. So for me, I think I'll keep buying what we all need. Yes, we'll definitely keep buying the Nestle. Yeah. Um, I do, I do want to say I will, I'll bring it up now so that I won't have to answer it in the comments. <laughs> um, when when I have bought creamer or no, it was on a what I ate Wednesday. I showed me making coffee and I showed how I make my coffee and I put creamer in my coffee. And I think two people from Australia, I think they were both from Australia, said. Why do you use creamer and not milk? Because creamer is not a thing in Australia. Right. I don't know. They might have it, but it's not like a big thing. It's like everybody just uses milk, and they're like, well, why don't you just use milk? I think they do in Britain, too. Because milk is not creamy. Milk adds a, a flavor to it, but it's not a creaminess. Creamer... I think creamer is creamy. Yeah, that's kind of like almost a, not really vanilla, but it it's kind of adds a flavor to it. Yeah, and, and it's it it adds a creaminess that milk does not have at all. So um, because it also I, doesn't cool your coffee. I've had milk. Yeah, I've had a, yeah milk is going to cool your coffee a little bit. Uh, but I've had milk in my coffee, and milk in my coffee reminds me more of this. It does. I agree. Uh, I agree. Because it doesn't take that flavor away. No, it, it doesn't add the creaminess. Right. I agree. And so that's why I use creamer. Yeah. I, and and I like the powdered creamer more than the liquid creamers. And I'm pointing to this because this is the shape of the bottle. Yeah. Um, I, because I tend to have to use way too much of the liquid creamers right. to get the flavor. Like if you buy it in hazelnut, to get that hazelnut flavor, I'm had, having to use a lot more than I am of this. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I really like this. Uh, well, that's neat that, I mean, I'm sorry that we're not going to be saving some money. Yeah, I'll still use the Grey Bay because I don't mind that, we'll that finish coffee flavor off. coming off, but yeah. I'll, I'll still use it in mine at least. Right. Yeah. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, you know, Grey Bay doesn't always win. No. no. So, <laughs> so we'll see you next time.